so hey guys in this session we are going to see how we can implement the open id octa open id in the mule sort so i have uh, written this talk and i will give you a walkthrough that how you can implement it so this complete uh, process or complete part for this octa open id with mule sort i have uh, uh, break it down in three phases the first phase is configure octa portal to generate a token the second phase is configuring any point platform with the open id to use the functionality or the uh, generating a connection between the any point platform to the octa portal and third one is implementing policy over the raml that raml we will design a sample one to test whether that policy is working in our api or not so in this three phases we are going to see this complete part so let's uh, let's start with the uh, phase one so in this phase, I will give a walkthrough that how you can configure the Octa portal to uh, that will help you in getting the token. So the first step is you need to go to this uh, developer.octa.com. So let me go to this. Uh, let me close this. I will do along with you. First thing is I will copy this URL. I will click paste it in this address bar once i enter it will ask me to either sign in or sign up so if you don't have an account you can just click over the sign up so as i have already the accounts so i will click on this sign in opt up i'll go with the continue with the google part so once i click on this continue with google it will give me my dashboard my account dashboard so this is my account and this is the domain i have got uh, while creating the account so once i go there the another step is go to the security option and select api so i'll go to the security option so here we have the security option we'll select the api now while creating this doc i have already created all these things so i will just give a walkthrough that how i have configured this so once the API portal is open, I will click on this add authorization server. Okay. So once I will click on this add authorization server, I will get uh, these three options, name, audience, and description. So name I have given this audience and uh, description all are same. So you can uh, have different one. So audience is like, let me do it. Once I click on this edit, So here name, audience and description, I have same, given the same. So once you create your authorization server, you will get all this data. Okay. Then we need to go to scopes. And here I will click on this add a scope. If I want to have any custom one, I'll uh, give the name, whatever the name I want. So here I have given name doc test. So this talk test is already present. So it will not allow me to create, but let me do the configuration part for the, for the demo purpose. So this doc test is our scope and we are here setting that uh, what will be the display name for this, or you can say uh, for that information, if you want to add, let's say uh, for example, here it is given, if your uh, add a scope name is email, then you can, give name like access your email any uh, for that information then in the description phase you will uh, you can explain like what will what it will do so here i'm giving the same anything uh, it will not make any impact so here i can then say same more thing and the default scope i will click on this including public metadata I will show you why I have selected this one. Once I do this part, I will click on this create and our one scope that will get created. So for now, here I have this doc test. If I edit it, see doc, doc test, display name will be display or testing for doc and this custom script made while preparing for doc. I have just given a description here and I have included this public metadata. Now we'll go to the access policies and here we need to add one policy. So you need to click on this add new policy. You can give any name, description and 
all clients or either you can select the following clients. So whatever clients you want to specify, you can specify over here. For now, I have selected the all client. Once I create the policy, this policy will be created and assigned to all clients. I have, I have selected for this sample for doc preparation. Okay. Then you need to go to the add rule section and click on this add rule. So you have to give the name of the rule that you are going to set. And here I I have the grant type. So here it is saying if grant type is this, 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 whatever you want. So I have just unselected all this. You can let it be. And here in the scope requested, I will select the customer following scope. The scope I have created. So I have created test. No, I have created doc test. So I'll select this doc test. Then here, this is the access token lifetime. So it is one hour and it will expire if not used in every seven days. So for one hour, this token lifetime is valid. Okay. Once I do this, I will click, uh, click on this create rule. So as I have already here, so let me edit this part and show you. So here I have uh, given the name testing doc. So while preparing the doc, I have created this one. Then I have selected this client credential. And here I have set the following scope, the doc test. And here this is the token uh, lifetime. So once you are done with this, then you need to go to the application part. So in the application part, you have to click on this application. And here you need to click on this create app, in app integration. So once you click on this create app, uh, new app integration, you will select this open ID connect. Once you select this, you have to select the web application because when you are developing, uh, when you are developing an API, that API will be used by some web application. So that's why I have used this web application part and then click on this next. Once you click on the next, it will ask you the web app name. Then here you have to set client credential, the grant type. And here you can set uh, the control access to allow everyone. So whatever option you want to choose, you can choose based on, based on your requirement. Okay. Once you do this part, rest of the part will be the default one. Once you do this part, you need to click on the save. So this is the redirect URI and this is sign in redirect URI and this is sign out redirect URI. This is the optional one. So here it is saying Okta send authentication response and ID token for the user sign in request to this URI. So once the token is generated, where the token will go for that we have this URI. So I have created already one application. So I will make, click on this cancel part. So once you create application, your application will be shown here. So once if I click on this, I will show you what are the things right here. So once you click uh, create application, you will get a client ID and client secret for that, that we will use while making a request for a token. Okay. This is the app integration name. This is the application grant type. So this is application type and this is the grant type. And Now we'll go to sign on. So we don't need to do anything. It is already open ID connect. Now what we'll do, we'll go to the postman. And the postman, we as we are making a request to the uh, Okta to give me a token. So for this, we'll have the post method. And we'll go to the talk. So I have covered this much. Okay. Now in the URL, we have to give the issuer URI of an authorization server. So we'll go to the authorization server. So from here, if you go to this API part, so it will show you the authorization server that you have created. Click on this. So here we have this. So you have to click on this prep for doc sample. Copy this metadata URI till the till this part. This is the this is your audience ID. 
that got generated. So you have created one audience here for dog cell. For that, we have this encrypted ID. So you need to copy this, paste it over here. Okay. Then we'll have to, once you do this, you have to write the V1 and token. So we'll write V1 forward slash token. Then we need to pass the scope name and the grant type in the query param. So in the query param, we'll write a scope. And a scope we have created doc test. And in the grant type, this is the client credential. Okay. CID. And client credential, okay, click the okay, grant type, client credential. So I was performing the spell check part here. Okay, now the method will be post. In the header, we have to set the content type this. So I'll copy this part. I will go in the header, click on the bulk edit, paste it over here. Evaluate it. So here we have this. Now, once it is done, in the authorization section, we need to pass the client ID of application and client client secret of application. So we'll go to the authorization. We'll select basic auth from here. Now, in the username, we need to pass the client ID of the application. So application that we have created here. We'll go there. We'll click on this application. So here we have this client ID. I'll copy this. I'll come over here, paste it over here. And then we have this client secret copied. So password, okay. Now all things are set. So let me make a request. Okay, so content type do not match supported value. So the issue is coming in the header. So we will we'll go to the header and okay, we were having a semicolon at the last. So we'll write X build up to application forward slash. Now let's try it again. Okay, so we got this access token. So we'll copy this access token and we'll see what are the data that are present in this encrypted value. So here a scope is doc test as we have specified. So we'll go over here, we'll open the JWT JSON web token. We'll paste it over here and here we will see what are the things that are present in this? So in the payload, if you come here, it is the audience name that we have created prepare for doc sample. This is the issued at time. This is the time that issued. And if you hover over on this, you will get the time that 3rd March at 1 6 uh, PM. We issued this and this is the expiration time. So if you see it's 13 6 and here it is 14 6. It is because we have set the uh, token expiration time of one hour. Okay. And this is the CID here. This is the subject whom the token refers to. The similar thing, whatever the data present in the script in, in this encrypted form, we can uh, have a look on this by, by using JWT. So once we're done with this part, now we are able to get the token. Now our second step is, let me go to the second phase. Our second phase is to configure any point platform with the open ID. So in this video, we discussed how we can configure the Octa portal to generate a token. In the second video, I will give a walkthrough how you can configure the any point platform with the Octa portal. And probably I will also explain 
how you can implement the policy to test your API. Thank you.